Welcome to a new teardown video. This time it's an unknown box. And it's also an unnamed box. See? No names whatsoever. Numbers, type numbers, anything. I tried to remove some labels here on the front um, to see if there was a hidden name or number or something. Uh, but there's absolutely not. Um, so I will will call this unnamed audio adjustment box because I really think this has something to do with audio signals. Um, it's full of BNC connectors also on the back. Only BNC connectors on the back. There's no DC, AC, anything else but BNC connectors on the back. And so, so there's no supply voltage, there's no indicators, there's definitely no voltage in this. So that means it's line in, line out, or audio in, audio out, maybe it's balanced, maybe it's single-ended. Or maybe each unit is isolated, or maybe it's connected together, or maybe it's supposed to be cascaded, or is separate signals in parallel. The different sections contain different attenuation settings, so it's a variable, 10 dB step, 1 dB step. And you can, or uh, like a load resistor in parallel, or you can ground this input and output. So, so it has to be something with some signals that's supposed to be loaded, right? And here we see something with some attenuation and some resistors and stuff. Maybe this reveals something. And and here, 0 0.1 dB and this a complete different sound. See? Chuck a chuck a chuck. Just ooh. This one is see? This one is loose. We need to fix this one. But those are like normal graded knobs or or switches. This one is definitely special. So those will be trans trafo is a Danish word for the transformator. So that means they're probably isolated or balanced or something something like that. And this up section is also up here. And, and see we got similar sections. Maybe it's like this and this and this and this, right? So we can run a lot of signals in. I definitely think it has something to do with audio. Um, I'm gonna take my ohm meter and then I'm gonna test if everything is isolated. I need two hands for this. Hang on. Aha! Uh -huh. Look at that. Ohm meter on the on the chassis, and it has something to do with this ground. So if this is lifted, we we'll, we have a ground lift, but the 300 ohms I measure between red and black here that is still the same no matter the ground connection so that's definitely some ground loop isolated sections and all this is actually also connected to this when the ground is enabled so that is also interesting and this goes on and all um, no matter what combination you go uh, you go to as long as see as long as ground is connected stuff is connected to ground so that reveals something doesn't it and we are inside that was easy to pull out the case but look how beautiful this is made and all the bncs are individually isolated everything is really done beautiful but now i know why they sound a lot different whoa and look at those resistors this tells me it's very very old because that is like 60s kind of resistor style and look at that there's the error see there's a wire that jumped up so this one is not connected let's have a look if it's I let's see if it's right yes look at that so this wire needs to be soldered back here. And it's probably gonna work. This section, there's probably something 
else wrong with the other one I don't know but it's really beautifully made and we got those how do we oh, look at that wow that is some stuff <laughs> that was that was funny <laughs> when I pulled the, uh, this one out it says spit down and then <laughs> it's open <laughs> this is really this is really cool so this is obviously some kind of system you can buy for shielding wow is this custom or is is this a, like a regular kind of I haven't seen exactly this model before so I don't know let's look inside the big ones this is a bottom view and clearly enough we got some transformators for the different sections over here where it says something like this and this so it's probably some different impedance couplings um, outputs like this and then this one is inverted and whatnot so that is like some audio isolation stuff for that and all those super nice attenuators and this one blubba, blubba, blubba. I wanted you to see this what's gonna happen here <laughs> spling wow so that is high power look at the diameter of of the attenuators is amazingly well done I am happy to see this kind of building quality it's amazing well done but it's see this ooh, this reveals it was stored in a high humidity place for a long long time and those resistors are very very old so this we got some text on the let's have a look I, I can't find any text nobody wrote any little notes for us oh yes what we can find here this is the only thing that I can see We've got some type numbers handwritten ST a type number la, 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 la. let me get some better light why is it always the light that is the biggest challenge in the whole world type 6 this is just the worst picture ever why, why can't I get a picture of this oh annoying good come so okay so this is type 8 really also type 6 yeah a number 1344 interesting but that is kind of the only thing with any kind of text on oh man I've been opening it almost a few times but I think yep I think I solved it I solved the problem there was a loose screw inside this one. Oh, damn it oh, now it hits me I've been looking a little bit more on the front here this is actually made with those uh, letra set or rubbing sheets or rubbing letters whatever you call it and then um, transparent varnish or a paint so it's actually hand made a one-off unit and it's beautifully made it looks like somebody spent a month making this to the absolutely top quality so that's great so i'm gonna put this back together and uh <laughs> find some other cool gear because that was uh, absolutely fantastic to see an audio splitter grounding attenuator setup distribution for some audio signals that's definitely what it can do Aren't you just a little bit impressed?
Come on, you gotta say yes.